So how are you all doing? How are you doing? Welcome to my channel, Don Keenan or DPK Film Creations, which is my brand name. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you want to stick around, keep watching. If not, then thank you for stopping by. And to all my returners, welcome Dazzlers. And today's going to be a, uh, a TV series review. Tell me about the TV series Lucifer. According to Wikipedia, Lucifer is an American urban fantasy television series developed by Tom Cappanos that premiered on Fox on January 25, 2016. It is based on the DC Comics character created by Neil Gaiman, Sam Kiev, and Mike Dringenberg taken from the comic book series The Sandman, who later became the protagonist of a spin-off comic book series, both published by DC Comics Vertigo imprint. The cast of Lucifer. The cast of Lucifer includes Tom Ellis, Lauren German, and Kevin Alejandro. Who is Lucifer? According to Wikipedia, Lucifer is the name of various mythological and religious figures associated with the planet Venus. Due to the unique movements and discontinuous appearances of Venus in the sky, mythology surrounding these figures often involved a fall from the heavens to Earth or the underworld. Who are Lucifer's family? The child of Satan, also called Lucifer, is Damien Thorne. So that's the extra part of the video. <laughs> so let's talk about the TV series. Okay. I know it's a few years old now. It came out in 2016. And I've only just started watching it. <laughs> uh, so you must have seen it already. You know what it's about. But if not, then here it goes. So, Lucifer, the devil. Uh, he's escaped hell to be on Earth for vacation kind of thing and he stumbles upon you know, one of his brothers he stumbles upon this nightclub he stumbles upon a different life um which he thrives and lives for he the character is very narcissistic very himself and very you know it's all him or nothing but me don't like narcissists but because it's a devil character and it's an and it's a, it's a TV series, and um, the character suits the part because it's devil, the devil, the devil Lucifer. So even though you don't like narcissist, it's going to be it's fun. I love it. The humour is spot on. The one-liners are spot on. To me, it's all it's perfect it's in a way that the humour rolls with the story. It lightens the mood and stuff, and it's serious at the same time. You know, the character, the guy who plays him. Tom Ellis, fantastic, fantastic. He was in Miranda. He played the love interest in Miranda TV series, which I didn't realise till I googled it. <laughs> That's amazing, mad. So I'm on up to series three at the moment, and I've just finished watching the episode where, where what can you? <laughs> you got uh, another famous person in it, and Tom Welling, who played Super Superman in Smallville. He's in it, but he. I don't want to, uh, it's a spoiler, but I don't care. He plays, he plays Cain, who killed Abel, you know, many, many hundreds of thousands of years ago. But he's on the earth as Cain, but um, he wants to, he wants to die, because he's fed up with living thousands of years, which is understandable. But this episode, <laughs> where they have to, <laughs> you got, you got Cain and Lucifer playing lovers in the street, the like, boy, you know, husband and husband. And I just the interaction between Tom Welling and Tom Ellis is fantastic. It's 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 like a, it's good because uh, you got the campness of Tom Ellis, Lucifer, and you got the seriousness of, of you know Kane, Tom Welling. Uh, the episode is just fantastic. The thing is, series one, two, and three are on Amazon Prime, and four and five are on Netflix. But luckily, I've got both. Because I think after the third series, Amazon Prime gave it up, but then Netflix bought it. So there's going to be a sixth series, um, which is good, the filming. Uh, because, of, because of this coronavirus, Series 5 has been split in two. So and by the time I get to Series 5, A, then hopefully B will come out in the second part. But that's enough of that. Why does it appeal to me? Well, I've always been a fan of these cop 
movies, you know, the body body cop things, TV series, and it works well because he gets into the mind of the bad guys to find out if they kill people or what what they desire in life. And they give loose for their desires, and he judges from there if they did it or not. And and it's just it's mad because uh, the love interest between him and the detective, the lady, she is is quite interesting. But then you find out she's been put there by God to guide to being Lucifer's, Lucifer's way, kind of thing. So the story evolves. The first series was good because you got into the characters. The second series was good. The third series starts to get a bit, yeah, okay, it's deteriorating away from what made it good, but it's still good. And I think I'm Tom Welling in it does help because his seriousness and a few little comments like <laughs> Superman comments are cool, you know. Yeah, so there's a Krypton comment that was so funny, you know. Um, no, there's lot. Like, it's, it's it's got some damn good one-liners good story love the theme tune you know that just little catchy theme tune fantastic so yeah so at the moment i give it 8 out of 10 i mean i've still got the rest of the series 3 to watch and it's 4 and 5 so or 5 so i'll get to watch them but yeah that's really my take on lucifer the tv series which is currently on amazon Prime, series 1, 2, 3, and 4 and 5, and soon 6 on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, take a look. If you have seen it, comment below. Let me know what you think. If there's anything you think I should watch, comment below. Um, I've got Netflix and Prime, so just just put your favourite programmes down below. If I haven't watched it, I'll have a look. If I haven't watched it, I'll let you know. So, yeah, there's lots of series on there. I've, you know, I've, I've got on my wish list to watch so <laughs> what you say could be on my wish list I don't know anyway that's it for me for this one and I shall see you soon take it easy don't go making a, a deal with the devil you never know